This is a, a great page that Bethany Krause had developed for her team and we wanted to share it with you because she was nice enough to share it with us. And we are going to uh, follow it as well and then add to it. But uh, before you post, you want to make sure that your settings on your Facebook is set. So what's really great is we're, develop we're gonna develop a team, uh, pay a team website that you can send them to that that fills in the blanks because you always want to share isogenicsbusiness.com with them but this will fill in the blanks of what is not on isogenicsbusiness.com and that's what uh, bethany's been able to build a lot of consultants from it so she talks about and she walks them through it so when she has a newbie who is just starting out she walks them through this page until we get our site up and going i want you all to write down art of wellbeing.biz forward slash share so art of wellbeing.biz forward slash share because you can work with this until um till our version of the site is up and that will help you. So when you have somebody who's enrolled and now they're like, okay, now I wanna do the business. Um, this is a great place to start and you can just take them to this page. Don't just send them the link, walk them through it, be on the phone with them because you can talk to them and, and make sure they're doing it right as you're talking to them. So the first thing is um, changing and making sure you have the right settings on your Facebook. Now we have a video on your Facebook settings, uh, but you can walk them through right then and there. So really quick, I want everyone to grab your Facebook uh, and I want you to open Facebook and I want to go to settings. And I just want to make sure you all know where this is on your phone. And we want to double check that you have the right settings because sometimes I have heard of people where their, their uh, Facebook accidentally went off of public, which you want public. So we're going to go to a settings. Now, once you have settings, I want you to scroll all the way down until you see timeline and tagging. And wait a second. I want you to go, actually, I want you to go to privacy settings. And then we'll go to public posts. So privacy settings, who can see your future posts? That should read public. And then underneath that, who can see the people, pages, and lists you follow? Only me. Who can send you, if you scroll down, who can send you friend requests? Everyone. Who can see your friends list? That should say only me. And, and then I have the last three is everyone, everyone, yes. Because you want the search engines outside of Facebook to link to your profile. Now, once you've kind of gone through that, I want you to hit the back arrow. And then I want you under privacy. Now we're back under settings, the main settings tab. And I want you to click on public posts. And I want you to scroll down on this one. And it should say, the first one should say public. The second one, who can see your followers on your timeline? I have only me. Underneath that, public post comments should be public and public profile info public. Now, if you guys, if you guys have questions or get stuck, we'll go through this. So don't worry, we can go through this after I finish this, but I just wanted to make sure that not only is your Facebook public, but for them to have the ability to comment on your posts is also public because you will find once you start doing a daily story every day of those before and afters and, and your story and you're posting on your Facebook wall every day, strangers are gonna start picking you up and they're gonna start um, commenting on your posts. So 
this allows you to know to go through that with them right away. So when they do make a post, it's more powerful. Um, include your friends. Uh, by following, uh, this is what she does, by following the steps below, you will change up the Facebook algorithm so the Facebook friends of your choosing will be sure to see your post. So you know and you can teach them, whoever you correspond with um, via messenger, they're the ones that are gonna see your next Facebook post or the ones you've commented on their Facebook wall and then you say do a live. They're the ones that are going to see your live. So remember that not all your Facebook friends will see everything you do. It's a small percentage, so to increase that. So one of the things I do, actually, this is kind of off topic, but before I go live, I follow up, I send a message to the last 30 uh, uh, leads that I got and I talk to them. And then I know when my live goes live, they're, they're the ones that are gonna see it on their wall. And that really helps with um, enrollment. So you wanna go to your Facebook timeline. You, wa you wanna have them click on their friends tab. Um, they're go it's gonna give them their friends list option. And think of the people you want to have join you in your transformation journey, either do the system with you, or maybe you have a friend that you, would, you were thinking, wow, she would just be amazing at this business, or maybe you know they're looking for a job. But sc scroll through your friends list, and when you see a friend that you'd like to have join you, hover over their name, right click, and choose open link in a new tab. Now, once you have about five to two, 10 new tabs open, and don't worry if you're not keeping up with this because you've got the link so you can go and review it and, and, and do it. But um, once you have the five to 10 tabs open, you wanna go to their pages and comment on one of their posts. The more friends you comment on, the more effective your post will be when you post on your Facebook timeline, because like I said, you correspond with more people. Then step two, um, we recommend, and we do too, um, not saying isogenics on your wall if you're brand new. Um, some of the older leaders like Steph, she, I think she's got isogenics all over, but she, she is isogenics. <laughs> I don't have isogenics on my wall yet because most of my leads I am getting stealth through sponsored ads and I don't want them to, I don't want to look like an expert. I want to look like a, a consumer. But here's some great copy that she has that you can use. So if you haven't started yet, so there's specific copy that you can give the person that you've already enrolled who's interested in the business. You can give them this copy. Um, it's, it's had lots and lots of exposure um, in terms of getting lots of comments on it and have them post this on their wall because what's that, that, what that's going to do is it's you're basically teaching them how to do the business, but you're taking it a step farther. Somebody wants to do the business, you got to lead. Um, you know, it is true, you got to lead a horse to water, but I don't say wait for him to drink, shove his head right in, okay? <laughs> because they need extra help. Um, they won't build on their own and you really have to hold their hand and almost do it for them until they get a rhythm. Once they've earned the money, they will get excited and the chances of them continuing on and building that business just go up and up and up. And of course, you never, you always continue to help them. But my point is, is that give them a post, make sure they post it, go and love on their, their post comment under their post, maybe your own transformation. Uh, one thing that we, I, I see all the time and, and we, did, we did this today with our team is when we do a post, we at, in our business chat say, hey, um, I just posted, can you love on my post? And then we all make it a, 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 a plan to go and we comment on their post, our personal, 
um, uh, testimony of the of what it's done for us. So I may say, "Wow, I lost fifty pounds. My energy is off through the roof. I love this stuff. Thank you." And see what what that's doing is the more comments you have, the more people on Facebook that will see that post. So what you want to do in any post on your wall is right after each one, you want to make a comment because whether it's their post or your own post, all of those comments count. The more comments, the better. So you wanna respond. Not only that, it makes people feel special. And Stephanie has a great uh, copy to send to those people that just like your post. So you can reach out to them too, even if they didn't make a comment. But so she's got special text here if you haven't started yet. And then she's got text for people who have already started. What are some great posts that they can do? Then she's got a post for, I believe, uh, in shape already. Um, someday I'm hoping to post that post. <laughs> it, it's coming. Um, so here's the copy for that, in shape already. And then she's got one other. Hey, Kimberly, do you Here's have to, are you, uh, can you do a screen share of what you're seeing? A screen share? Yeah, are you looking at the website? Are you guys seeing my screen? No. I can see it. Oh, then just me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, honey, is there a brunette or a redhead there to help you? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I, I don't have it. Interesting. Cooper was on earlier, so I don't know if he's oh, got no. a problem. He may have caused it. Um, are you? Oh, well, it shouldn't black out. That's, That's weird. okay. As long as okay. everyone else can see it, then we're good. Hey, you know what, Steph? Pull up, uh, just pull up artofwellbeing.biz yeah. forward slash share and you can follow right. on there. I'm just under step two. Thank but you. this is a progress mm -hmm. post. So before I found the system, I was feeling blank, blank, and blank. And it gives you that standard copy so that you can help. It helps you to post your story and it'll help your new person post their progress. So this is all great. And then if you click here, you'll see a lot more examples. And these are all examples that really worked for her and her team that she was such a gem to share with us. Um, then there's step three. When people comment on your posts asking for info. So you want to reply to their comment, like I told you. Um, and there's some other copy on um, Crave More Pro um, that, that you can use for response to. Um, you don't want to respond when they do the, the post. You don't want them to respond with answering their question right in the thread because the idea is you want to make it you want to build mystery and you want to explain that to the person that you're you're coaching on building the business you want to say hey don't put all your cookies out only show one cookie and then as you get to talk to them you can share more cookies but you want them to know that you sent them a private message and then you want other people, I always post, yeah, totally, I'm so happy to share. Oh my gosh, if you joined us, that would be amazing. Um, and then you private message them and it gives you some ideas right here of what you can post. Now, obviously this is her Facebook page. It's not your, our team's or Steph team's Facebook page. So don't use that link, um, but this is a great, um, some great text to work from. Also, message the people that liked your post. Here you go. You can send the people that just like the post a message. And it gives you this incredible, wonderful verbiage. And Bethany is a rock star at building consultants, so she knows what she's doing. And so, hey, we don't want, we don't want to reinvent the wheel. Let's do what everybody else is doing who is already successful. And that's where you can use this copy as your own. Um, you want to make sure to print out these documents. She's got an eight-step doc. Um, these teach you how to use the system. Everyone you add should be written on your follow-up sheets. So 
I'm going to click on this and see if I can get this to load while we're on. But like I said, on your own time, I want you to go back and you can, um, you can pull these up. So here's the eight step doc. It got me both. Is it going to pull up? Doesn't look like it's going to pull up. Unfortunately, everything takes long, but you can click on those. I want you to click on those and review them and what have you. And she's also got follow up sheets. So you can use these as tools um, in your arsenal and find what works for you. Obviously, I mean, Penny is, Penny is the, the workhorse and everybody needs to use Penny. So if you are not using the Penny app, you, you're crazy because it's amazing and it keeps everybody organized and what have you. And oh, now it loads. <laughs> so here's her, here's some really cool stuff. She has, she has text that she used with different people as an urgent care provider, this week has been crazy, hectic, and very stressful, I'm sure you can imagine. She's got some copy that, um, that uh, she's used or written for other people, depending on their job, so that they can outreach. Um, and I'm not going to, um, well, we'll wait till that loads, but I'm going to go back to the website here. So add them to your own um, group, obviously, and text your sponsor to approve. Um, your team Facebook product page is designed to easily let people who are curious learn more. In this private group, they have a look at our products. They're going to see testimonials. We keep, and I'm sure everybody else does, we keep our product page right on product information and testimonials and uh, recipes or a fitness tip. So that's kind of the idea with the product page. And so once you have somebody interested, if they're obviously, you walk them through this. So you say, hey, if they're already your friend and, they're, and they wanna go in the group, you just go to your group, hit invite and invite them in the group. Then I go back to them and I say, hey, I just invited you to the group, please accept so you can go into the group. And once they do, once they accept, then you can either tag them in a post that's there or do a nice welcome post and, hey, please welcome Debbie Hall to, to, um, to our page. You know, she's looking for more information and I usually will post, you can post a link to a video, but you won't be able to tag them until after they've accept, accepted the invite. So if you ever can't tag somebody, it's because they still haven't uh, approved the invite. Um, and then you can text your sponsor to let them know, hey, I just added a new person. And they can go and also comment and welcome them in. And then you can obviously post a welcome and everybody will invite them and make them feel warm and fuzzy. One of the great things about the group is that it, it does the selling for you. Use the group. I always try, before I hop on the phone with anyone, I always try to get them in the group and let them marinate at least a few hours. Because what that does is it builds a foundation for you to work on. If you just, if you, I find I always convert higher when they've been in the group before I just hop on the phone because they've had a chance to see these transformations, everything else, right? Then it's so imperative right after you put them into the group that you write them down. And I, I have a notebook and I write down the date I put them in. And then I also know that I'm going to, I list them on the next day's follow-ups. That is key. Every time I veer away from that, we all veer away from what works in this business. I don't know why, because we get crazy busy, but following up the next day is the most important thing that you can do. The money is in the follow-up. 
you wait a week or two weeks, you could lose them. They could go enroll, God knows, with somebody else or somebody somewhere else. So it's imperative that once you put them in, you follow up because you spent all that hard, hard work getting them, right? So um, you want to you wanna follow up within 24 to 48 hours. You can start a three-way message with your sponsor. That's what uh, Bethany does. Um, or you can get them to agree to a phone call and get them on the phone. I prefer getting them on the phone because I find that it's, it's much easier to, um, to get them enrolled and to close them when you're on the phone. But it's just another option and she, um, and she gives you options. You know, these are all different options. Um, and then step five, you want to add value to your group. So once they have, and see why we're going over this, and I know it's basic stuff, and a lot of you are seasoned in the business, but we forget that the people that we're talking to that are just getting started in the business, we forget to tell them the most simplest things. And, and we go right into the, right into the complicated stuff thinking they already automatically know this. They don't. And this forces you, one, if you actually physically take them to this page, and we're gonna have our own page in, in a little bit, but if you physically take them to this page and physically walk them through it, you can talk to them, get to know them, and bond with them. The more time that you spend with somebody who's potentially interested in the business, the more the the higher probability that they will stay with the business. Um, the more you help your new biz, your new potential biz builder, the the more they'll be successful. So always be available for them. Um, but once you've added somebody, it is imperative. I tell people this. Every time I go in my product page, I want to love on the top 10 posts and then I want to do my post. And the reason why is one, you don't want to do your post first because then you do your post and you comment on the top 10 and you push your post down the page and nobody sees your post. So you want to comment on everybody else's first, then you want to do your post. Now, commenting is critical because the more uh, activity in your product page, the more excitement it builds, right? And that is imperative. So a lot of people think, oh, well, everybody else is posting, I'm fine. Oh, you're missing it. The, 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 those that post the most make the most, and it's because depending on what time of day it is, you, whenever you comment or you post, you're going to come up in, in their Facebook notifications. So these notifications, um, you're going to come up there and it's going to give them an extra opportunity to go back into the group to see these incredible testimonials. We know that, I mean, with regular advertising, the more you show a juicy cheeseburger in front of someone, eventually they're going to cave because you're going to hit them when they're hungry, right? Well, if you're constantly showing before and afters, it, it pushes people over the edge and they're like, okay, I'm done. So I, I keep my story, you know, everybody has their own way. Um, but I like to keep my story loaded with before and afters, and then I'll throw in some personal stuff here and there. But I keep it, it's really okay to advertise before and afters, and I make sure that my very first photo on my story is a before and after, because it grabs their attention, and that first photo is the one that gets the most views. So once you grab them into that, then maybe the next post or two, I'll say, hey, December 7th shred or September 7th shred coming. And then they can see that rather than doing, say, the shred post first. Um, so just some, some little things that I do, but it's so important, at least at a minimum, 
go into your product page and support your team at least once in the morning, once at lunch and once at dinner, then at least you're increasing the odds of um, your lead seeing you. Um, not only that, your team that you're building sees you, that you're active and they go, oh, I better get a move on it. So um, your energy is contagious. And not only that, um, you, can, um, you can schedule posts. So even if you schedule posts, don't forget to go in there and comment and don't forget to check your Facebook notifications. I check my notifications all the time, every day, all day. And I try not to miss any because you never know that one notification, especially if you're doing sponsored ads, they're like, it's one link that you accidentally missed and you clicked on it and it was a sponsored ad with 20 responses, 20 leads sitting there that you would have missed because you missed your Facebook notifications. So these are things that should be daily, every day in your in consistent and um, this, uh, this is great because not only does it make it easy to start them in the business, but it gives them the verbiage and it makes sure that you don't forget anything. And, you know, we're going to have something similar and we're also going to have training videos of tasks that are not up on, on uh, Isogenics business, like how to do text replacements, which saves you massive time but there's no videos up on Isogenics business, for example, on text replacements. There's no video on sponsored ads, nor would you ever find one. Uh, but we will have some how to's and explain more um, about lead gen and share a little bit more that will be unique to our teams. So um, I will go ahead and stop the share and see if anybody has any questions but don't forget the easy stuff so we wanted you on tonight not because we don't think you don't know all this we know that most of you do it's it's that do you take the time once they say i'm interested in the business right away i'm like okay when do you have an hour or two to spend with me and I make them schedule it right then, the moment they tell me they're interested. And then I send them something to post on their wall and I tell them to copy my story so that they're starting immediately to do that. And, and then you walk them through that page and you know that they're public and everything else. So they're gonna get the best, the best foot forward. So let me go to the chat, see if you guys have any comments and feel free to unmute yourself and and chipper away. Um, what about comment ranking? Do we check that one to turn on? Comment ranking. Yeah, you want your you want your comments public. Is that what you mean, Sasha? I'm not sure what it means either. I saw it and I don't remember ever seeing it before. It's at the bottom of the privacy settings that you were showing Oh, us. let me go see. Uh, it was under public posts or privacy settings. Um, I'm like, oh, comment ranking I have turned on. You do, okay. What yes. do you think that means? Um, I don't know, but I will tell you in two seconds because okay. I'm, is my screen share turned off? Well, it's for me. <laughs> and if you ever have any questions, here's something that you need to teach your people right away. Otherwise, they will ask you again and again and again. And it's not that you want to be mean and you don't love them. It's that you need to teach them to be a leader from the beginning. You need to teach them to try and be self-sufficient. Um, the reason why is not to be mean, but the idea is eventually you ha you're going to have your own team and you're going to need to train them and you're going to need to work with them. And you know that saying, would you rather teach a guy to fish or do you want to throw him a bunch of fish, right? 
if you teach them to fish, you're going to build their confidence and they will, it will empower them and they will, they will step up more. So I always tell them when they go, well, what countries are we open in? I go, go to isafyi.com and look in the upper right hand corner. There's a drop down. I do not tell them because I'm not helping them. I want to help them so that they know where to go. And Facebook is the biggest library in the world. And I don't care what it is. You can always find great stuff. So if comment ranking is turned on for your page or profile, comments with the most likes or replies, as well as comments from friends or verified profiles and pages will appear at the top by default. Very cool. I did not know that. I did not know that. So we all learned something new and Google taught us. Um, and it says, if you've turned off comment ranking for your page, your page will display comments chronologically. So you get to decide what you want to do there. But thank you for asking that question because I would have not known. So that was awesome. You're welcome. Um, yes, it is under, oh no, wait, it, it's actually under public posts, which that's kind of a new one too. I haven't seen that one in, a while, in there. I, we access this different, but they're always changing where their settings are. It's at the very, very bottom. When, once you click, click on public posts, go to the very, very bottom, it's comment ranking. And all it is, is a little button you turn on and off there. Um, and I have mine on, so, um, and I don't, I don't know if it really makes a difference for me to have that. Um, but I guess if you have, you know, 800 comments, you may want to see the ones that are getting the most, uh, play on them. And let's see, yes, it's the art. The URL is artofwellbeing.biz forward slash share. Um, and that's where you can go through and get to all the stuff. And that on some of the steps, you just click on that side arrow and it moves it. Uh, but does anybody have any questions? Or did, I do have something I wanna add. Um, so we talked about, you know, putting people in, writing them down and commenting under the top 10 posts and being there in your group present on a daily basis. But one of the things, what if, here's why you need to comment on other people's posts and be active. Because I have enrolled so many people just because either it was my post or somebody else's post and they go, how do I get started? What do I need to do? They're asking questions. And if you're never in the group and you're not looking at some of the comments that are posting in the posts, you're gonna miss your potential customer's comment. And so one of the things that we do in our group is um, let's say Debbie, Debbie posts a, a post and somebody under Debbie goes, I, I wanna get started. The first thing we do as a team is we go and we look up who added them to the group. Then we find out who added them. Then we tag who added them under in that post so they will see the post, but we don't stop there. We private message that person and we say, hey, you have a customer asking, I went ahead and tagged you because what if they miss the notification? And if we do this, we end up enrolling as a team a lot more people and we're all helping each other. The other thing is um, that if you, um, I just totally wipe my slate blank and I can't even, wasn't sure what I was gonna say. Oh, um, make sure you're supporting, supporting each other's comments. So every day you got some team members, go and love on their posts, especially if they're in your downline, love on their posts and um, because we all help each other. You comment on their posts on their wall, they're gonna comment on posts on your wall. So if you're not getting any comments on your wall, 
it's because you're not giving out and you're not commenting on theirs. So the more you do that, the more people will get used to, oh, Annie's so great. She always comments on all my posts. I'm totally going to go to her post. And it takes, you know, and it's not intentional. It's just that they only show you so many posts. So sometimes you got to stop and think and go, oh, you know what? I haven't seen that person's post. I wonder if I just go say a message, then you'll see their posts and you can help. So um, does that make sense? So it's, it's all for one and one for all. <laughs> um, does anybody else have any more questions? Everybody's so quiet. I know we are a quiet group today. <laughs> it is. I mean, well, everybody's eyes are still open, so that's good. I didn't put anyone to sleep. <laughs> but that was it tonight. So... Uh, we just have 10 minutes left. So um, did you want to add anything, Stephanie? Because that's all I have for tonight. Well, that was absolutely fantastic. And, you know, I think I could listen to that information over and over and over again, because it really is, we just always have to go back to the beginning and back to the basics and, and holding people's hands to help them. So that's great. Um, the only other thing that I would recommend just because I'm dealing with it right now is another basic is to like Bethany has in here. I think it's um, step three, messaging people that like your posts. So if they're taking that time to like what you have to offer and or even comment, which of course is more time, um, send them the message back. And in, in our case, we have the ability to invite people to an event every Thursday. So that's what we're working on right now. And we're just sending a thank you message. And by the way, I don't know if you're aware, but I'm a part of a group that hosts events every Thursday. And this one is going to be about, would you like to receive an invite? And it's really allowing a lot more private conversations to happen to people that are already paying attention to what I'm posting. So they already like me, they know me, there's probably some trust, maybe some respect going on. I just haven't invited them to know more. <laughs> and so it's a great little reminder for those that are paying attention to us invite them. And so far we're having a really great response. So I wanted to share that. Awesome. That's awesome. And then what is the, what is the other site? Um, crave more, is it crave more dot pro? Yeah. Um, this all, this is another site you can look at. Um, oh, there you go. You beat me to it. Um, that has scripts. So if you need a little help on what to say, what should I say? Um, that's another great site. And we're going to be merging some of that onto this other uh, business site. So we'll have one team site with lots of different scripts and stuff on it. Yeah, I was talking to Jackie earlier today and, and her situation is she, she ranked advanced a consultant today. So yay, Jackie. Hey. Is great. Yes. Um, but what she wanted to know is she's like, the girl, um, Terry is really just, she's not interested in building, building, but she is perfectly fine sharing and helping people with the 11 day shreds. And I'm like, that's great. Let me go ahead. Um, and Kimberly, either you share screen or I'll share screen. And I want to just show you real fast what I can do it. Um, what I had her look at because it's all here for us. Can you guys see my cravemore.pro with yeah. blue and white? Uh, well, you're at artofwellbeing.biz. Let me get rid of that one. Okay, got it now. There you go. Okay, awesome. Um, so if you go to number one, I just had her start with number three and skip number one and two because that's not really what this girl wanted. So we always want to meet them where they're at. We can always give them more. Right, we can go back a little bit, but start where, where what she wants. And she just wants to help people with her 11 day shreds. So I'm like, great, 
help her do a social media post about the 11 day shred, which we have all these images. Thank you so much, Michaela, who's speaking tomorrow for the images. And then teach her how to respond, both publicly and privately, and how to invite them into the group. I'm like, so you're really picking between how, what kind of effort do they want to put into this business? Well, she wants to put in a little and she's willing to do social media. Great. So teach her three through six. All right, let's say she wants to do more. Fantastic. How much does she want to do? We can teach her one through six and then teach them penny. Let's just say they want to go all in and it's just get to work. Who do I connect with? I would teach them penny and scripts. And, and then also teach them this too, but they're really interested in penny and scripts at that point. Um, so those were, were some of the things that happened today that I just wanted to share. Very cool. And, and you're putting those scripts and you can put those other scripts in your penny app. Yeah. Yeah. So you can save it, take the time. Too bad we couldn't just push a button and. We <laughs> will, we will, it's coming. Yeah, to have your to have your um, your team scripts all available there, you know. Yeah, it's coming. Yay. Oh, let me share a little secret with you. Um, okay. I must stop sharing. Are we done? Does anyone else want to record anything else? 